when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Right guys, just been changing strings. Thought I'd do a little bit of a thing. Um, so I use these bad boys pretty much exclusively because they're friggin' awesome. Um, and I'm a bit of a hybrid kind of guy. I like fat low end but spangy top end. So, and I've also been trying these out, which are the Kota DXPs. A little bit more expensive. Um, because I have got ridiculously acidic sweat, I rot through everything. As you can see there, my volume control is pretty much now worn through. My trim is starting to wear through. Um, and that's just because I'm like a mad, mad sweaty guy. It's a bit of a nightmare, I'll be dead honest with you. So, I'm going to give these guys, which are your standard nickel wounds, a week. I play for about six hours, seven hours a day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, gig on Saturday night. I'm going to see what they look like on Sunday. Then, next week, gig on Monday night. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday sessions, Friday... And then I'm going to see what they're like on Saturday. I'm going to try and give them the exact same workout over the space of two weeks. And then I'm going to post these videos up and see what my findings are. What do you reckon? Well, so we shall see. Is it worth spending the extra dollar on EXP coated strings? Do they sound any different? Or are you best just buying a load of these? I don't know. But anyway... Right, so a week later, and these were our uh, nickel wound. I don't know why my torch has come on, but it has. Uh, so these are the standard nickel wounds. Sorry for breathing like a pedo cockroach. <laughs> I've got the leggy man, and it's a it's a clanger. So, as you can see, they're pretty much dead. The further on we go, you can see it's just like that. It's just, it ain't, it ain't no good. Ain't nobody got time for that. So these haven't been wiped down at the end of every session. I just thought that'd be better, just in case I forgot to wipe the other ones down or whatever, to keep it consistent. I just haven't wiped them down, I've wiped them down but not wiped them down with any product. And as you can see, they're pretty much black. They still sound pretty good. They just look like crap. So, that was those bad boys. A week, within that week, there was a gig. Three, four days of teaching. And two weddings in one night. And they were quite sweaty weddings. Fun, but sweaty. Of about two hours, so set was about an hour each wedding, and then I'm now going to go for these bad boys, which are the EXPs, and see whether they last any longer. Now this is not indicative of normal humans, because I've got the worst sweat in the world. It's so acidic, as you can see, I'm melting through everything. Right, so that is now the EXPs rocking the NY. Steel, they're on there looking nice and plush, super clean, super spangly, nice and shiny. Um, acoustically, sound exactly the same. So, um, yeah, no, no tone differential at all, really. And let's see how long these bad boys last for. Y'all. <laughs> And then it was done. So, I've actually had to kind of wait. Um, I've had these on for nearly three weeks. These guys lasted a week of heavy use. These guys have lasted two weeks of heavy use and then a week of, yeah, a week of about, well, just tuition and sessions, really. Nothing really sweaty. But two hard weeks. This guy lasted a good hard week. Um, so, let's have a little look at the evidence. So, as you can see, they're still nice and shiny. I'm trying to get the light on the string so you can see where they start to tarnish. Obviously, I play around the fifth fret a lot more. 
But if you can remember, there was absolutely no silver left on the uncoated. Whereas they, yeah, okay, this, they've gone a little bit off. But that's three times the length of time. Um, oh, scratching my guitar, I don't know. That happens. So, yeah, three, three times the, 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 the pain. Which is cool, man, because I didn't actually think they'd last that much longer, but they did, they blow me away. Sound absolutely great, they're still very, very um, toneful. And um, I would recommend paying, paying the extra cheddars. I do apologise for my hair at the minute. But yeah, pay the extra cheddars, man. Three times the amount of fun. It may be double the price, not even double the price. It's a no-brainer. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys. Oh, <laughs>